Now what's going on fellow YouTubers? So I bought a gaming PC a year ago and I've been having some issues with the motherboard and I've been all over Reddit, YouTube, Google trying to figure out what's going on. So let me show you the PC that I bought. I talk about this Asus pre-built gaming computer. It's a GD35DX. Here are the specs. You know, I have a 3950 AMD processor. Where the heck is? I got a 2080 Ti uh, video card and 32 gigs of RAM. It's a pretty beefed up uh, PC that I bought last year in 2020. Anyways, the issue that I've been having this PC has has worked flawlessly, and I've had some issues with the RBG uh, with the RBG, uh, primarily with this this uh, I/O cover, you know, um, to begin with this, this thing, it worked great at first. And now it just quit working. You know, I've got, like I said, I've been all over YouTube, Google, Reddit, you know, I've got, and everything's fully updated, you know, latest BIOS, late, latest, uh, windows, all the drivers updated, everything. <sighs> the things I've done to try to fix this issue is you know obviously i put out this battery here to reset the, the, the cmos or cmos whatever i call it i don't know um i cleaned everything off the pc itself reinstalled windows 10 um let me see what else have i done i read somewhere here that if you pull out the ram sticks it kind of clears out the short-term memory or something i don't know i don't really understand it but finally i came across some other people that were having some issues with the with this um with this motherboard and they've all said that you know to remove this IO cover and disconnect the the little pin harness I'm going to show it to you right now so there, there's a there's the LED pin connection there with the little harness and that connects I'm going to apologize to y'all for the for the light and everything but I'm doing this in my room like I'm not a pro YouTuber or anything but right here where it says LED connection that's where the I.O. cover gets plugged into. So I'm about to reseed it. Because everywhere I found online, that's what people end up doing. And this thing end up, ends up working again. Alright. Um, and the motherboard. This is the Asus Raj uh, 570F uh, gaming motherboard. I'm just trying to find where it says it on here for y'all folks. But who knows. Let me see. Nah, I don't say it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not seeing it anywhere. But again, this is the the Asus Raj, R O G, whatever you want to call it, uh, five seventy F gaming motherboard. Um, let me see if it has it over here on this. This box, it don't. Anyways, like I said to begin with, I was having issues with this PC. Everything worked fine. All the RGB, everything worked great. For some reason, it wasn't recognizing my my I/O cover there. And the only time this thing would work is when the PC would go to sleep. When it would go to sleep, or if you would restart the computer during the reboot process for a brief second, it will come back on. But when you had the PC on and running, whatever, it didn't work. So, that's what led me to this troubleshooting procedure. Um, like I said, I'm not a pro PC builder or any of that. So, I kind of color-coded some things along the way so I know exactly where it goes. Um... But yeah, I mean, I decided to make a YouTube video to show the pe some of the people who are, who may be having the same issues that I am with this with this motherboard because there are, there's like no videos, there's no pictures that I found online on on how to do this. So just here to let y'all know, let, let the folks know that if they want to do this, they have to pretty much take apart your PC, you know, take apart all this, and um, 
The screws to the to remove this IO cover are on the back are on the back of the motherboard. So basically what I did was I disconnected these whatever these connectors are up here. This big old um, connector here. Uh, I disconnected the Wi-Fi card. Um, and I was able to once you take out all the there's a one, two, six, seven, eight. There's eight eight screws to hold the, the motherboard down onto the frame here. So once you remove all that you're able to shift this motherboard with everything still connected with the water cooler or with the, yeah, the water cooler leaving as much as you can connect it without having to disconnect everything you know you're able to loosen up those six screws shift this to the right lean it up like this let me see if I can. Yeah, see how it's coming up lean it up all the way up until you get over to the back side and then you're able to remove these there's a screw right here and a screw right here that you're able to take off from the back you have to do it from the back to get this IO cover off so that's what I did. What I did was um, um, disconnect it here, reseated that here. Now I'm about to reset it over here. Hopefully this thing comes back on because like I said, I've done everything that I could do to this thing. And I was going to send this back to ASUS and let them RMA, RMA it. But when I bought this, I thought I had a three-year warranty, but it turns out I only have one year. So I've already... You know, I bought this last year in July 2020, so the one-year warranty is up, so I decided to dig into it myself. I'm going to post this video again, like I said, just to let people know what I was dealing with. Um, I don't know how to sandwich videos together, so I don't know if it's going to work yet or not. But just look for it in the comments, and I'll post whether this fixed this issue or not. And if it don't, I'm just going to leave it alone. Like I said, the PC runs perfectly. Not, nothing crazy. It's just this IO cover RGB wasn't working. And it was driving me crazy. So, you know, especially after you spend four grand on a PC, you, you, you know, you want everything to function properly. And everything does except for the stupid RGB on this cover. Um, and said, so look for in the comments for the, my results and I'll let you know if it worked out or not. But I'm hoping this video is, you know, Gave other folks some more details on this issue. All right, we we'll just uh, you know reply if you need any, if you have any questions or need any help. All right, and again, just to recap, this worked, but it only worked when the computer was asleep, and as soon as you wake, you woke up the computer, it would go off. The ASUS Army Army Crate app would not recognize it, would not find it will not turn it on i went to the bios made sure all the settings were correct make sure all the rgb was turned on turned on in the bios everything's updated i i ended up taking out the the battery to reset the cmos you know i've taken the 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 ram out to clear the short-term memory or whatever um i deleted everything off this reinstalled windows 10 still didn't work so that's why it led me to this option here and uh, just hopefully it works, all right? Thanks for tuning in. If you got questions, let me know, and I'll try to provide as much detail as I can. And just to let you know before I leave what I left connected, I left all this stuff down here connected. Um, these two, whatever this is, left the RAM in there, left the water cooler on. I think you call these heat sinks back here. I left all that plugged in, and I was able to, once I removed the screws, to the motherboard I was able to shift this right tilt it up upward left on the left side and get to the back to remove the screws on this cover all right hit me up if you have any questions and check the comment I mean the comments and I'll let you know if this fixed my issue or not thank you